All right, so this is um, this is going to be a video on how to stream correctly because uh, I've seen a lot of people here that don't really know what they're doing, even though they have like a million viewers, they still have shit idea on how to actually stream correctly. So let me give you a little bit of the basics on how to do this, you know, simply. First thing you're going to want to do is find out what your computer can handle. All right. So you're going to go to excuse me, speedtest.net. Run one of these. Okay. Now my speed test might actually be a little bit skewed right now because I'm watching uh, two video streams while I'm shooting this video, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, speedtest.net, you go here, run this test. Now the download speed and your ping is not so much as important as the upload speed. Okay. So we want to take a look at what our upload speed is going to be. Uh, can you hit two? Ooh, just barely. Anyway, um, usually my ping is somewhere around 10 to 11. Uh, my download speed is 20-ish. And my upload speed is usually about 20.1, or I'm sorry, 2.1. Um, honestly, I would not recommend streaming on anything less than one megabyte per second. Uh, your stream's gonna look like shit. It's gonna lag. Nobody's gonna be able to watch it. You're gonna hate streaming it. So um, find better internet if you don't have at least, in my opinion, 1.5. 1.5 is like the bare minimum. All right. So after you've determined that, what you're gonna want to do is download XSplit. Uh, let's see, where can you get that? I forget where you can get it from. Google.com, XSplit. Forget the exact link. Anyway, it'll be XSplit.com. Simple. Um, the link will be down in the uh, description of the video after I'm done showing you how it all works. Anyway, you download that, make an account, um, install the program, and then you will have something that looks like this. Okay. Um, just for examples purposes, we're going to start with a blank scene. These buttons down here are your scenes. They basically control what your computer is going to be broadcasting onto your website, whether it's own 3D, um, Justin TV, Twitch TV, whatever. So for PC, I have a scene that looks like this. It's basically shooting my desktop, and I'll show you how to set all that up. Um, then I have one that kind of shows you know my promotional stuff um, plus an overlay for the uh, actual game screen and then I have my Xbox 360 set up also and um, I'll just I'll show you how to do Xbox 360 stuff in another video this one is just simply for PC so you're gonna get a blank scene when you first start we're gonna worry about that after what you're gonna wanna set up first is your broadcast settings. You're gonna, gonna go to broadcast, edit channels, all right? And you're gonna click add. Say for instance you were doing something on own 3D, which you probably won't. You're probably gonna start with Twitch TV, but it's all the same. Um, you put in your username and password, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, all right? It'll kick you back the name of your channel, okay? If you put in your username and password correctly. Um, once that once that's all plugged in there. Um, you want to select your location. Usually it'll be something like main origin cluster, um, US West, US East, um, default. You can just run default. Default's fine. Um, after you've selected that, you go to the XSplit presets, your video encoder. Usually you just leave this at default. Basically, it's just going to control the quality of the encoding. Um, so the slower your encoding is, the less pixelation you're going to see when you're actually like, say for instance, you're standing still in a first person shooter, your screen is, you know, perfectly crisp and clear until you move, then it starts to pixelate and start to get jagged. Um, the slower this setting is, the less pixelation you're going to see. Typically you just leave it default. Okay. Um, quality not really going to make that much of a difference anything above six you're not going to really be able to tell so you can leave it there 
or you can move it up that's up to you um, personally I really don't see much of a difference either way my computer can handle any of these settings so I just put it at 10 just because it makes me sleep better at night um, now here your bit rate this is important now this is where your um, speed test result comes in okay um, now say for instance my uh, upload speed is 2 megabytes per second okay 2 megabytes per second I give myself a little bit of overhead so you should figure 2 megabytes per second 2,000 kilobytes per second okay um, that's how it breaks down so it's like 2 megabytes 2,000 kilobytes um, so I give myself a buffer of about 1,500 um, usually I can get away with leaving the max bit rate at 1500 also typically when you put this number in the buffer is just going to duplicate it in some instances it will double it that's up to you but you want to give yourself a little bit of overhead um, so like I said my connection is about 1500 kilobytes or I'm sorry 2000 kilobytes per second so I give myself about 500 kilobytes per second overhead so I set it to 1500 okay, I don't know if that's kind of confusing to you um, you know, email me with any questions and I'll be happy to go into greater detail for you. But typically, just keep it underneath your upload rate. Resolution, you leave that default. Don't even go into it because um, what I show you later is going to take uh, precedent over what this setting is anyway. Audio encoding, simple stuff. I usually run 44.1 16-bit uh, stereo. Uh, anywhere from 9,600, 96,000, sorry, to 192,000. Okay, anything above 192,000, not going to be able to hear the difference. Uh, if you go lower than, I really wouldn't go lower than 128,000, because you're going, your audio is going to start to sound really tinny, like you're projecting it through a tin can, and that just sounds bad. So, 192 is where I set it. Once you're done with that, you click OK. It's going to create the channel here in this list, like you see my channel here. Um, you click Apply. It's going to ask you if you want to save that. Say Yes, and you click OK. Now you're going to have something that looks like this. Broadcast. And it'll be in that list after you've set that up. Next thing is going to be your resolution. Okay. Um, if you want to do a nice, high-quality stream, I would suggest 1020, I'm sorry, 1280 by 720 that's standard 16 by 9 HD video okay um, looks good uh, your computer should be able to handle it if it can't then streaming's probably not gonna be for you wanna get some new hardware um, so I go with uh, 16 by 9 1280 by 720 frame rate now this is important okay frame rate is very important the user on their end it's gonna be really hard for them to see anything above 20 to 30 so don't break your CPUs back by setting this to like 60 it's unnecessary you don't have to do it the only instance where I would actually run six, uh, 60 frames per second is when I'm streaming an Xbox game and I'm not actually playing from the same source that I'm streaming from aka PC game so you, you have a little bit more room to move when you're streaming Xbox stuff or console stuff rather because you might be streaming PS3 or um, we also uh, but typically I set this anywhere from 20 to 25 up to 30 if I feel like my computer you know isn't lagging in game or anything like that typically this is the first thing I change if I'm having frame rate issues in the game that I'm playing so um, I would start with about 25 just leave it there by default transitions not important right now I'll, I'll go over that stuff later and then the viewport is basically the viewing area of the XSplit broadcaster window. So like if you go to 90, it'll jump up to 90%. If you go back down to 50, it's just a smaller window. Uh, it takes up less resources when you're actually streaming. I always minimize it when I'm streaming anyway. So, All right. So let's see. All right. So let's kind of take a look at a game um, and what you're going to see when you actually start a game. Just for examples purposes, I'm going to use APB. Start your game. You're going to want to run your game in windowed mode. 
Okay, uh, XSplit's not going to be able to pick up a full screen signal. So when you get into the game itself, uh, in the options, just make sure it's in running in windowed mode. Alright, so you see my game is already running in a window. Take XSplit Broadcaster and you're going to go down the scene sources, click add, add screen region, and then just click on the ABB window itself. Okay, and now you're going to notice that there is a small picture of the game window in the XSplit Broadcaster. From there what you're going to want to do is right click it, go to position, uncheck keep aspect ratio, this will allow you to stretch it out grab a corner and just shoop, drag it over and now you've got a full window running this let me move this over so that you can kinda see yeah. okay now you're also gonna notice that I've got that ugly um, you know windows border around and that's where your crop function comes in you go to right click the window again go to position cropping so the top, I already know this by default, is 20. Oh wait, I messed up, hang on. Right click, position, cropping, 20. And then I believe it's 4, 4, 4. And you see those edges disappear. Now you're going to have to experiment because all games are different. Um, and you can also just capture, if you go to, let me set up scene 5, which will be blank. Minimize this window. You can also do add screen region and just go desktop and this will capture everything on your desktop okay so let's go back to our other screen maximize the game again alright once you've got the picture that you're happy with here you can just go to broadcast select the channel that you set up earlier click that button and bam you're live Hand out the link, blow it up, and enjoy viewers to your website or to your stream. Now, um, there's a couple of other tricks that you can do. Say, for instance, you wanted to add overlays. Me personally, I run a uh, watermark of sorts. So we go to Add, Media File, and then my overlay is Overlay 2. And you see it pops up here. Now I resize that, shrink it down a little bit move it to wherever you want it to be save right there now you've got an overlay say for instance you wanted to add a webcam you would go add camera mine is Microsoft Life Cam Cinema it takes a second to detect that there it is you can see my TV my mirror and all that stuff uh, shrink that down move it to wherever you want it and the same settings apply so you go to position unlock aspect ratio that way you can resize it so that uh, pretty much is how to stream a PC game simple shit uh, a lot of people don't know how to do it the right way um, you don't need any other programs outside of the game that you're streaming um, XSplit Broadcaster they've made it easier than ever to just jump right in and start streaming so I hope this helps. Like I said, any questions or comments, you know, feel free to you know post them there um, or email me, and uh, that would be all. Happy streaming.